Okay, let's talk about unit conversion equivalencies. Like I pointed out, in the imperial system, we know there are three feet in a yard, 12 inches in a foot, 5,280 feet in a mile. Most of us who've had basic junior high and high school science also know that a meter, which is a metric unit of linear measure, there are 100 centimeters in a meter, or there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. We know those things. And then we have some crossover units, units of time that are fairly universal. We know that there are 60 seconds in a minute. We know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. We know that there are 24 hours in a day. What we're missing is, is we're missing the link between the metric units and the imperial units. If we want to get into the small wind industry, for example, another renewable energy technology, and make a hybrid system with our solar photovoltaic, photovoltaic and wind are a perfect marriage of renewable energy inputs. Most of the wind generators, they talk about their ratings based on wind speeds in meters per second. So let's try a problem using that newly memorized unit conversion equivalency of 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. And let's take a wind speed of five meters per second and figure out how many miles per hour that is in wind speed. So we're gonna start, we always start by putting up what we have for our units and our quantity. So we have right here, five meters per second. That's what we have. Now, how can we use our 2.54 centimeters equals an inch? Well, we've got to get this down to centimeters. Do we know anything that relates centimeters to meters? We sure do. We know that one meter equals 100 centimeters. Well, if we want to get rid of the meters and put centimeters up, where does the meters have to go? Above or below? It has to go below so meters can cancel meters. So we know that one meter equals 100 centimeters. Now we can start to relate our centimeters to our inches. So I want to get rid of the centimeters. Centimeters is now on top. I want to put it on the bottom. I know that 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. I know, I want to get rid of inches, I know that 12 inches equals one foot, and I know that 5,280 feet, 5,280 feet equals one mile, we're almost there. This equals this, 100 centimeters equals a meter, so that divided by itself equals one. One inch divided by 2.54 centimeters, they're the same thing, that equals one. One foot divided by 12 inches, they're both the same thing, divide something by itself, that equals one. One mile divided by 5,280 feet, that's the same thing, that equals one. What we're doing is taking five meters per second, multiplying it times one, times one, times one, times one. We've not effectively, quantitatively changed this. We're just changing the size of the units that we're using. Now, if we start canceling our units. So, let's run the math on this much of it. Let's do crunch the numbers and then we'll start over again and, and do another conversion to get us the rest of the way. So we're, we've gone from five meters per second to how many miles per second? Now we just need a calculator. So I happen to have a calculator right here, and now what we're gonna do is all the numbers above the divisor line we are gonna multiply together, and then we are going to divide by all of the numbers on the bottom here. So looking at this, we're starting with five, times 100 times 1 times 1 times 1. I don't even have to put those in. I'll just put a 1 in there. And I'm going to say equals, then I'm going to divide by 2.54, then divide by 12, 
then divide by 5,280. So, so far, I'm up to 500, 5 times 100. Now I'm going to divide that by 2.54. Then I'm going to divide that by 12. Then I'm going to divide again by 5280. And I end up with 0 0.031. So I've got this equals 0 0.031. And when I put my units on that, it's 0 0.031 miles per second. 0 0.031 miles per second. Now, if I had room in our field of vision for the camera, I could have kept going, make a long string, and get this down to miles per hour. We're going to do this in two stages, though, for the sake of the camera. Two steps. So now we're going to move on to our second step. I'm going to erase what we have here so far. We're starting now with 0 0.031 miles per second, parenthetical. Now, I'm going to change my time units. I've got seconds below, I want to get rid of seconds, I'm going to put seconds above. So I know that 60 seconds equals one minute. Now I want to get rid of my minutes and turn it into hours. Minutes below, I have to put minutes above. I know that 60 minutes equals one hour. That's the unit I want to end up with. So now I grab my calculator again. With my calculator, I take, first of all, let's cancel our units. Seconds is going to cancel seconds. Minutes is going to cancel minutes. I've got all ones on the bottom. I don't even have to divide because dividing by one, everything equals itself. Now I want to take my 0 0.031 times 60 times 60. So I take my 0 0.031 times 60 times 60 equals, and I end up with 11.18 miles per hour. 11.18 miles per hour. 11.18. MPH, miles per hour. So my 5 meters per second is getting real close to 12 mile an hour. That's how we do that unit conversion. This process is called dimensional analysis. And there's another good breaking point.